What's up guys? It has been a while, I know. Um, I've been traveling for work, life's been busy, and the weather's been terrible, so I haven't been flying much lately. I've actually flown like 30 minutes in the past, I don't even know, two, three weeks, so it's been bad. But I finally have a cool reason to make a video. So something I've been working on lately and has been a goal of mine for a very long time was to learn how to fly. So I've been wanting to get my private pilot's certificate for a long time. Um, but I've been waiting. A lot of people have asked me, why don't I do that? And I wanted to wait until I could afford it. And by afford it, I mean I wanted to be able to get a small plane, um, learn on that plane, and then continue to fly and operate that plane after I get my certificate. A lot of people get their certificate and then can't afford the cost of renting a plane um, and then just don't fly and they can't stay current. So I wanted to avoid that. Additionally, if you purchase your own plane, you can usually, if you're smart about it, recover most of that cost. You can get a good portion of it back. Um, meaning after you're done learning on the plane, um, you can sell it. So you only lose the unrecoverable. So the cost of the maintenance that you had to put into it, fuel, cost of your flight instructor's time, things like that. But it ends up being a lot cheaper than renting a plane from a flight school. So that's what I did. I bought an airplane. I bought a Cessna 150. Um, and it's been a lot of work over the past couple weeks to get it all done and waiting for weather and everyone's schedules to line up, but we got it done today. Um, we're here at Charleston International. We're gonna be leaving here today to fly up to Conway, South Carolina, which is where the airplane is located at. We're gonna pick that up. So me, my buddy with the plane uh, here in Charleston, and then my flight instructor. We're gonna fly out to Conway, get the plane, fly the plane all the way to Walterboro, South Carolina. They have a good avionics shop there. Shout out to Swamp Fox. They're gonna be installing ADS-B for me. Um, and then we're gonna fly back at a later date and get that. So we have a a fun trip planned today. The weather looks great. Um, and I am so nervous. I'm sick to my stomach. So, um, you know, I had the pre-inspection done on the airplane, everything like that. But even though it's a small, cheap airplane, it's still expensive. So I'm really nervous about getting in the plane and finding something that wasn't found during the pre-buy inspection, something like that. I'm just super nervous. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I have my flight instructor with me, so we're all good. I, I don't even have my student pilot certificate yet, so I can't even... I can't even fly uh, solo yet, but it should be a fun day. I'm going to stop talking. Let's get in the plane, try to get as many camera angles as I can. Never attached a GoPro to a plane. I don't have the proper mounts, but we'll see how it works. See you guys. Peace. Wait, say it again, Lee. <laughs> what did I say? Look, this plane fucks. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is it, guys. We just got to Conway Airport, and um, here she is. The this, video is not going to do it justice. This is my new baby. Fucks. It is That's shiny. Amazing. So I knew it was recently repainted, everything like that, but last time I saw it, it was in an annual. I was all taken apart. So this is the first time I've seen it God. this nice. Dude. I'm very happy. Dude, this is, it looks nice, doesn't it? It looks amazing. <laughs> very clean. And the, and the interior is nice too. Brand new seats. Is Google that wire. That? Yeah, it, no, it just stops you from hitting the, oh, yeah. Okay, okay. It doesn't grab it. Oh my God, the seats are fucking gorgeous. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Doesn't have much in the way of avionics, but damn, it looks good. And you know what else is cool, Lee? Watch this. Yeah, you got two, got two, two doors. doors. <laughs> ah, you've one upped me. <laughs> <laughs> this is really nice, too. Like, yeah, Cessna. control locks. Yep. Cessna loves that stuff. Man, Beautiful. this is. Beautiful. What is this? It's a phone holder! She got a little phone holder in there! Oh god, uh, that's too awesome. Lauren, if you watch this, Lauren's the girl that I bought the uh, I'm taking this with me. That's so cool. <laughs> cool. Oh, and look, checklist right up there. I was wondering about that. Oh yeah, that's Perfect. awesome. Perfect. 
Man, it's in such oh, good Oh, look at shape. this. GoPro mount ready to go. That is badass. Now let's stick What's some this? GoPros to the outside. Is that a red light? Yeah, yeah. That? I think that That's is. Awesome. Yeah. Dome. Keys are behind the seat, Lee. Oh my goodness gracious. Might as well what grab all that out of there. behind the seat there? What in the sh Oh, that's to check fuel level. Yeah, that's the old Rod Rodenstein. Yeah, yeah, I need to make one for you. Yeah. Please. Cool. You excited to fly this thing, man? Yes, I am. <laughs> cool. I'm excited. Jesus. Very excited. I'm going to enjoy this. Give me a few minutes and I'll be filming again. Hi right, guys, we're a little bit pressed for time. We just got this thing pre-flighted. Remember 17048, that's my baby. Um, I am gonna be sitting in the left seat, obviously. It's my plane and uh, my flight instructor's with me, but I've never sat in the left seat of an aircraft before, so this is extremely exciting for me. I'm really containing my excitement right now, so I don't look like an idiot later when I edit this. Um, but we just went through all the logs, everything, airworthiness, every single piece of documentation that you need to fly an aircraft. We've checked and verified we are good to go. Um, hasn't flown in a few months, so we're gonna go do some uh, touch and goes, make sure everything's good, and uh, let's go. I got one camera on the wing, and I'll have one inside. You'll have cockpit audio, hopefully. So uh, let's get the air. Okay, go ahead and uh, give me the key turn. Okay. Left, both, ready? Yeah, yep. I'm, I'm, I'm moving. So they replaced the ignition, it might be stiff. You might have to push it in a little bit. Uh, oh fuck, dude, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, she's, that was in the angle that that was replaced. Yep. All right, guys, a little voiceover action for you. So, um, this is Chris and I trying to figure out how to get this thing started. We cannot figure it out for the life of us. So if you're unaware, a standard ignition in, in the Cessna 150 is you put the key in, first turn goes to left magneto, second turn goes to the right magneto, one more click is both, and then there's a, a push to the start. So you, you turn it, and it starts just like any other ignition, and then it springs back after it's cranked up, and it goes back to both magnetos. Um, and it was not doing that. It would go left, right, both, and stop. We, we could not get it to, to start. It just wasn't, uh, it wasn't engaging. So, um, and Chris, by the way, is a certified flight instructor. I don't know how many hours this guy has, but this is what he does for a living, and he flies these, these planes often, and he can't even figure it out. So, no joke, Chris, myself, and Lee, who's also a pilot, um, we, we, we worked on this for, it had to be 45 minutes. And we, we just couldn't get it figured out. It was, it was no idea. So I had to end up calling the mechanic that worked on the plane, called the owner or the previous owner who I bought the plane from. And by the time they called us back, we had we couldn't figure it out. We had to push the plane back in the hangar, and we thought we were not going to fly. And for sure we weren't making it back to Charleston tonight. Um, anyway, they eventually called me back, and what it was was they you have to put the key to both, and then they had rewired the wing leveler Le um, lever so that you put to both and you pull the lever and that's what starts it well this wasn't labeled in the plane so there's no way for us to know that chris never heard about that it was a modification that was done prior to um the the last owner and i i just didn't notice it in the logbook and no one told me about it so we had no idea how to start this thing so by the end of this whole trying to get the engine started ordeal uh, we realized that we were not able to make it home so we were not about to fly this plane um in you know during the night uh an unfamiliar area in an unfamiliar airplane for the first time it's just not gonna happen you're not gonna fly at night so we already knew we weren't gonna make it back so we were getting pretty bummed out at this point but after we did get it figured out after we talked to the previous owner and the mechanic um this thing fired right up and we decided we would still take it up for a few laps around the pattern make sure everything uh, was working fine and see how it flew so here's that all right clear and of course i um, forgot to plug in the cockpit audio after we had
gotten back in the plane and reattached everything because I took everything out of the plane when I thought we weren't going to fly. So um, after I set everything back up, I forgot to plug it all back in, but uh, we still got some cool footage. So here you go guys, this is the very first takeoff in my new plane. So right here guys is when it really started to hit me. I just, I was looking out the window, had the airplane trimmed, it was flying just true, straight, level. Um, I just, it just hit me that I was flying like my own airplane and it just is an amazing feeling. It was so awesome. Such a goal of mine since I can remember. I even, I even tried to go to school for this in college and someone talked me out of it and said no, go to engineering school later. Don't go, don't go to college for flying, fly later for fun. I remember that person telling me that, and I said, okay, fine, I'll, I'll, I'll go to engineering school, I'll save up, and I'll fly later. And um, this is just, this is when it all hit me, looking out the window at the airport, flying, flying my own airplane. It was just an epic feeling, and I'm so fortunate, so lucky, so happy, and just amazing feeling, awesome. So we ended up getting in three touch and goes, um, which wasn't the plan. We were, you know, the plan was to, to fly the plane home, drop it off at the avionics shop and get the ADSB installed. But, um, you know, it took us too long on the ground again. We didn't want to make the flight home. So um, all we ended up doing was take it around the pattern three times and it just went so great. The plane flew amazing. Um, the engine ran great. I couldn't be happier. I was just so stoked. So awesome. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, this did not go as planned. We could not figure out how to get this damn thing started. Um, the guy that owned it before, the last person, put some modification in here that we didn't know they did, and we didn't know how to start it. The start was actually labeled um, wing leveler, so absolutely no way to know that, and they're making fun of me for vlogging. Um, but, yeah, so, and we cannot fly this home at night right now. It's just, it's not worth the risk. There's, uh, unfamiliar airport unfamiliar area unfamiliar airplane so that's it for today but we did get to fly three touch and goes i flew my own airplane i'm really excited but i'm kind of rushing to get home now because it's getting kind of late and uh, i got two other guys with me and i'm wasting their time now so i'm gonna end this one here thanks for watching don't forget to like subscribe follow me on instagram all that jazz stay tuned for more adventures in november 17048 see you guys bye